Hello and welcome back to Big G's Railroad Channel. I'm Big G, your host, and today I'm bringing you hobby store finds, train show finds, and a little mail order. I hope you enjoy this short little video, and thank you very much for watching. Hello and welcome back. I just recently picked these up from RC DVD and Hobby over in Crossville, Tennessee. want to say a huge shout out to Art who's been after me for about a year and a half trying to get these off of him and I finally went ahead and broke down yesterday and purchased these. I greatly appreciate the purchase and looking forward to actually running these. I've had them on the layout for about 24 hours now but I have not actually fired them up just yet. These are two BLIs. They are SD40-2s painted in CSX scheme and I look forward to these being some of my local freight runners from the yard out to the businesses as well as switching some of the businesses and doing some yard work. So these will be heavily used on the layout. Look forward to many years of service with these. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other things that I picked up from Art as well. Alright, I'm always looking forward to picking up a few more trucks and figurines and definitely some foliage. And one of my subscribers has asked that I put some red flowers up on the top of Mount Meatloaf. And this little bag is going to help me do that. I'm going to create some bushes and try to add that to the top of Mount Meatloaf. Looking forward to this project, which I'm hoping to start here shortly this afternoon and into the um, coming weeks. So hopefully by the time we get the next update out, Mount Meatloaf will be finished and you guys will get to see the final look of that. Went ahead and picked up while I was over at RC DVD and Hobby some horseback riders. Got those, planning on adding those into different areas of the layout. And then... I've got these trucks here. Really enjoy these trucks and so glad to be able to add those to my vehicles that I have out on the layout. I've not added the mirrors onto them yet, but they will look good on the roads. And I want to just say another shout out to Art. Thank you for the purchase. I greatly appreciate it. And this collection will definitely help on the layout. Alrighty, recently I was able to take a trip up to Paducah, Kentucky, and I was able to pick up this Union Pacific uh, Kato, and got it. It's DCC, and it's the first Union other than Spirit of America that I've got on the layout here. I'm looking to purchase another one of these um, very shortly. I like purchasing in pairs of two if I can. So this purchase was just the only one that he had in the shop at the time. was glad to snag it from him and add it to my fleet. I went ahead and also while I was there, he had purchased the Seaboard System Coal Harpers that were patched out in CSX. was able to add that to the fleet. Show some heritage for the CSX here. And then I also picked up the Clinchfield one that he had that's patched out in CSX as well. He had several more of these, but I went ahead and know a buddy that would really like to have had some more of these, so I went ahead and left them and contacted my buddy, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he made the purchase from him. I also went ahead and I had no representation of the rock on the layout, so I went ahead and added the rock on here. This was my first one, and I really like their paint scheme, always have, but this one's soon to be weathered and put in service. Just wanted to be able to have another fleet or another car in the fleet that represented another flag from another railroad. So without further ado, let's take a look at some other purchases that I've recently made for the train room. Alright, recently I went to modeltrainstuff.com and was able to pick up these gondolas from Atherin. Went ahead and picked up a pack of five of those. All five different road numbers. And figured I'd add these in for the coal mine. Very nice, 
absolutely none. I've had I've got several Atherin on the layout. Really enjoy those and thought they'd make a good addition to the layout. So these will also be receiving some weathering treatments and then they will be put into service. Alright, recently I was able to purchase at a train show in Bowling Green. They just recently had at the depot there. And while I was at the train show, I was able to pick up this nice micro train car that is weathered up. Nice oil tanker. I really like the weathering on that. Went ahead and picked up that. And while I was there, I figured I'd go ahead and add to the coal fleet some more. Been making a pretty good stride on coal hoppers here lately. So we went ahead and picked up a set of 15 Atherin Bethgon coal porters. And they're all painted up like this, all with 15 different road numbers. And I've got that train sitting right here in the front of the yard. Take a quick look at that. I know you've seen it on an update, but I figured I'd go ahead and while I was doing the what's new on the layout, I figured I'd go ahead and show them off one more time and let you know where I'd purchased them at. So, very glad to always get new equipment here on the layout. Very thankful that me and the wife has been able to make a couple trips here in the last several weeks to a month and pick up quite a few new cars new engines, and new scenery materials for the layout. So, always good to have your wife involved in the hobby, and it's always nice when she gives your blessing, gives you her blessing to make purchases onto the layout. So, she's always joking that, you know, she lets me do this, and that she wouldn't let me do this if I wasn't so good at the hobby. So, just a little running joke that she likes, but I think she likes coming in here and enjoying the creation that I'm making. And the layout itself has come quite a ways in the last couple weeks. And I'm planning on doing a whole lot more. As you can tell, the video updates are coming a little bit more frequently now. And I'm very happy with that. I'm going to try to continue that stride as much as I can. I definitely want to say thank you. To all the subscribers. And stay safe out there. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.